Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel. Got a brand new product today, and when I say brand new, it is because it's the version 2. And what it is, it's the Matex VTX. I'll put a few pictures up as we're gabbing of the older version, and now they've brought the V2 out, the newer version. With this, you can see straight away, well I can see, I, I haven't even opened the package yet, it's literally just arrived five minutes ago. And I thought, I want to get this out quick, right, before I go out. Anyway, you don't get a whip antenna anymore. That I did notice straight away. Right? And I thought there was something wrong, something missing out the packaging. I noticed just looking at the packaging, the buttons look different. Right, and I rung the shop up right, and I got it from uh, quadcopter.co.uk I'll also put a link up to them because uh, great company uh, if you live in the UK but they do ship to other countries but uh, no, the gentleman who I spoke to very helpful he even went and got uh, another product to double check himself because he thought it seemed a bit strange and it was saying, yeah, the ch update in the website and all like that. So brilliant. But this is the version 2. And uh, let's stick her on the bench and have a closer look at it. Cheers. All right, let's take a closer look. As I said, you don't get your whip antenna anymore. You just get your SMA. Which, let's be honest, if you needed a whip, they're cheap as chips. All right, now I did say... When I looked at it through the package, it only had one button on, which confused me a little bit. I thought, oh, here we go, hold for three seconds, press this, hold for four seconds, press that. But no, it actually has got, the top there is button A, I don't know if you can see that. If I turn her over, there's another button underneath, which is marked up as button B, as I look at it. You do get, while well, I remember, two pieces of heat shrink with it to... Uh, wrap it up and put it on your model it's a 40 channel VTX right which means you've got your on your bands you have your A, B, E, F and R band and you have your 1 to 8 on your channel you got 25, 200 and 500 milliwatt output and what I love about it especially at the price right it has smart audio, so when you're at the field, oh, what channel are you on? Oh, I'm on band here, no problem. Straight in, on your goggles, change it, no messing about, you don't even have to touch your quad. I turn it round, there's your smart audio pin, and you have your, your, fa your uh, 5 volts, your ground, and your smart audio, and your video, which... Uh, Direct soldering. You can connect pins on if you want to, but uh, most people will just di direct solder the cables, the wires, and straight onto your flight control board. You have 7 to 27 volts input, which is great. You can connect this straight to your board, your battery power. You don't have to worry about it at all. Uh, we're also looking... Oh, what was it? Oh, 5 volt 1 amp Beck, which will run off any camera. Any camera will be compatible with that. But also, you'll be able to, if you wanted to, add LEDs or whatever. There's plenty of power there. Plenty of spare backup. Uh, that's just about it. Oh, it's a half board, if anyone didn't realise. That's why there's only two holes. As you mount it on in your quad, on your quad, well, it depends. If you mount, as you mount it on your quad, it only takes up half the room as a normal flight control board. Right, so you can get at your other cabling or whatever on your flight control board a lot easier. And that's just about it, actually. And uh, she's well, very well made, very well put together. Unfortunately, like all things. You don't get a great deal of information with it. You have to look on the websites and stuff. I'll put up a few pictures to help with the wiring and things like that for any new pilots. But uh, I'm going to have to look up about uh, updating the firmware because 
I believe they're trying to make it instead of 40 channel, 48 channel. All right, I don't know if that's available yet. Oh, wrong way. I'm trying to line that up with the camera. I don't know if that's available yet, but we'll check into it. And well, that's just about it. Like I say, this is the uh, VTX HV from Matex version 2. Now, I'm sure there'll be a lot more reviews coming out on this. And I sincerely hope, uh, I mention him a lot, Joshua Bardwell or Bruce Simpson, right? There's plenty of other pilots out there who really know the stuff, but Joshua Bardwell, I hope he does a review on this because he'll be able to go into a lot more detail. He'll mention every little circuit board on here, every little circuit and what they do and everything and hopefully uh, able to tell us how to do the software update right then uh, thanks for watching i just thought i'd stick this out quick like i said it only came in the post there uh, a few minutes ago all right weighs in i've weighed it just under six gram and what what will shock you as well it will use lipos anything anything from two to six s lipo 25 to 500 milliwatt that's just about it smart audio when you're connecting up your smart audio that will tell you as you're running it uh, in beta flight as you're connecting it up right you want to be looking for the tramp as in the tramp telemetry right on whatever uh, spare ox channel you use it but that's what's built in and that's what you'll be using okay then so you've got your two power buttons your antenna you've got everything i've talked about i don't want to waffle too much because uh, i want to get this up where I got it from, Quadcopter uh, UK, it was just under £23. Now in US dollars, I believe that's around about the $26 mark. I think I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, oh, and if you're interested, it's a 36mm half frame. Okay then, uh, thanks for watching and uh, cheers.